Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning to all friends and Dr. Sharma My name is Muhammad Akma bin Muhammad Razi Today I will present to you about uh, our assignment Reactive Iron Etching RIE And my members is Ahmad Amin Firdaus bin Sakri Next, introduction What is RIE? RIE is a uh, Reactive Iron Etching and etching technology used in microfabrication. So, most uh, IE is mostly used in our manufacturing in microfabrication as a machine to do the process uh, of etching. Next, RIE is a type of dry etching which has different characteristics than wet etching. What is the RIE characteristic? Uh, it has controllable selectivity. It also and has an isotropic profile, and it uses iron as a bombardment. Next, RIE use chemically reactive plasma to remove material deposited on wafers. The plasma also is generated under low pressure vacuum by an electromagnetic field. High energy ions from the plasma attack the wafer surface and react with it. So generally, uh, it tells us about how the RIE is work uh, and it use the plasma as the mechanism. So uh, what is plasma? Plasma is uh, the fourth uh, state matter that we use uh, in etching. Plasma is uh, the firstly that we know the first state is uh, solid. After that it will be liquid after that uh, gas and after gas will be plasma <coughs> okay uh, plasma also have equal uh, negative ion charge and positive ion charge uh, that will make it to be neutral neutral means uh, it can connect electro electricity so it, it also contain high energy heat and then it will attack the wafer surface and react with it okay the last one the most notable in the reactive ion etching is it provide a much stronger and vertical directional edge okay next uh, this slide shows the RIE edge process sequence and the first one is uh, the generator generation of agent species so the plasma need to be uh, generate first and the example of the agent species is uh, electron, ion, free radicals and natural partic particle and then it will diffuse into the surface then it will absorb and do a reaction either chemical reaction or physical reaction then it will dissolve and diffuse into the convection flow Okay, this is the flowchart of the RIE. It has six, uh, six step. Okay. So this is the picture of the um, how plasma, uh, how the RIE works. Okay. First, we we'll generate plasma and we'll diffuse to the surface and absorb into the wafer or outside layer and do the reactions. So and the ion bombard occur, so the byproduct will dissolve and diffuse to the convection flow. Okay. Next, so this slide shows uh, the process in making scratch animations. So we uh, to do the animation, we do the add scratch uh, online. So firstly, we choose the and upload the backdrop that we want to use into Scratch. Then we will upload all the sprites we need and make some editing to erase the background. Okay, next, uh, we upload the background music to the first backdrop and loop it until the last backdrop. Then we set the AB sprites AB sprite is a character that we use in the beginning and as our starting point to our coding start to execute so we do the coding uh, like this 
so after the coding is done we set the title instruction and credits to the project page and lastly we turn on the shared button to give public the access to this project okay that's all thank you uh, okay uh, let's take a look at our scratch code to do this uh, our project uh, most of our animation use the uh, event block and broadcast message to connect uh, to uh, different sprite uh, for example uh, when uh, this sprite the substrate uh, substrate sprite uh, broadcast the attack surface uh, when the attack surface uh, message received by the uh, electron it, uh, it will do the uh, the activities uh, on it uh, script and to do the uh, animation how the electron uh, move repeatedly up and uh, up and down we use the uh, forever repeated uh, uh, block uh, we put uh, all the code for its movement in this uh, repeated block to make it uh, uh, move upside, uh, up and down repeatedly ok ok uh, now uh, let's see uh, what we do in our trash animation project uh, to see uh, our project uh, you can uh, click this link in our uh, presentation powerpoint presentation Okay, uh, to start our uh, animation, uh, we need to click the inflect. Okay, uh, before that, uh, I want to uh, thanks to uh, Dr. Sharma because I uh, teach our uh, uh, about uh, because Dr. Sharma teach us uh, about the RIE process and we collect the data and information uh, in Wikipedia ok, let's see ok, let's uh, press X to continue Okay, uh, this is the introduction uh, that uh, has been presented by uh, my friend uh, Akmal. Uh, RIE is a technology used in microfabrication. It's a type of uh, dry etching. Uh, it provides the uh, much stronger and vertical directional edge. Okay, let's continue. Okay, this is the sequence of uh, RIE process. Uh, edge, edge process okay uh, let's see how it works uh, okay for the RIE process uh, what we need is a, a chamber that contain uh, uh, two electrodes uh, anode and cathode uh, first uh, we should uh, put uh, our wafer that we want to edge the surface uh, be between this uh, electrode and then we turn on uh, our circuit let's see what happen okay when we uh, turn on our circuit uh, some of uh, radio frequency electromagnetic field will be generated uh, in this region okay uh, next what should we do let's see okay uh, the hexafluoride gas will be flow uh, inside the chamber and then when uh, this 
at top uh, flow through inside the chamber it will be uh, transformed uh, or we should say uh, it will be ionized uh, to create uh, some plasma this is because uh, the RF electromagnetic field uh, not the outer electron uh, electron valence from the uh, atom, uh, gas atom uh, out of its uh, orbit so uh, we get the uh, plasma and electron okay uh, why the electron go up and down in this uh, chamber uh, because uh, this uh, oscillating circuit uh, make the electron uh, attract to the positive positive uh, electron uh, emmer uh, some of the electron will uh, that hit the chamber chamber wall will be grounded and uh, what happened to the uh, the electron that hit the surface uh, vapor surface Let, let's check it out Okay, uh, when the electron uh, hit the uh, vapor surface, the outside layer, the electron, uh, some of the electron will be uh, deposit uh, onto the uh, this surface, outside layer surface. Okay, uh, when this uh, happen, uh, it will create uh, create the uh, potential difference between uh, two two to plate when this happened let's see what happened to the uh, circuit uh, to this uh, wafer sorry for that okay uh, this is the plasma uh, positive ion when the uh, uh, when the surface is negative, negatively charged the positive ion uh, tend to drift toward the uh, wafer surface and when it uh, bombard the uh, vapor surface, it will be uh, it will be react with the uh, outside layer and touch the the surface. Uh, as you can see, uh, the etching process uh, make the outside layer uh, look like a square, perfect square. Uh, this is because the the etching uh, direction for the uh, ion or plasma it etch the surface uh, vertical directional vertical onto the vapor so uh, we can see the surface is perfectly square compared to the uh, wet surface uh, that we uh, uh, learn in the other process Okay, uh, let's see the what we got. Okay, so this is the result of our etching, which we get the perfect square uh, and an anisotropic profile. Okay, uh, that's all for RIE process. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope uh, we learned a new thing from uh, this animation. Thank you.